We feel this referendum helps fill the needs of our profile of a graduate. It provides for a more well-rounded education for our kids. They need more than what's just in the four walls of the classroom. There are things that they experience outside of the classroom that provide for their educational and for their development experience, and those things are all important and why we have these in the referendum. The district has spent the, the better part of the past two years reviewing our needs of our facility. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time with various groups on reviewing everything that are high priority needs of the district, and those are the things that we're looking at in this referendum. Well, this referendum is about our students and improving their learning experiences. Uh, specifically at the DAX building, we're looking at increasing our capacities just with our electrical system, and that has a significant impact in the classroom. Uh, the availability of technology and emerging technologies that we'll be bringing into the classroom. We need to have the capacity just with our infrastructure to provide these opportunities not only for our youngest learners but also for our adult learners that use the building. The DAX building currently has temperatures that fluctuate, creating uncomfortable environments. The updated HVAC will keep classrooms warm during the cooler months. The improved ventilation should also help reduce the condensation that gathers on the floors during hot, humid days of July and August. Our most important job every day is the safety and security of our students and our staff. This referendum is going to put some tools in place for us to monitor that. Security systems, public announcement systems, and a secured entrance are all part of our plans to renovate the DAX building. The challenge with our existing middle school athletic facility is that it's a field that was built in the 1960s and has 50 plus years of games being played on it. While it was a, a phenomenal facility for let's say a class A school, it's not necessarily a very good facility at this point in time for a 4A school, which is our current football classification. Our middle school site does not provide adequate accessibility to fans who attend games, whether that is parking, seating, concessions, or restroom areas. The surface areas on our fields do not have adequate drainage, which in turn impacts the playing surface, not only on that day of competition, but can impact it for the rest of the season. Our track needs resurfacing. It has surface cracks, a soft dip in turn three, and delamination on the surface area. Updates to facilities will provide an enhanced practice and playing experience. In terms of the turf field, it remains a level playing surface. They don't have to change their style of play. Lines are always marked and visible, which allows for greater efficiency from both a practice and maintenance standpoint. Finally, it gives us opportunity to host Minnesota State High School League neutral site events or section tournaments. When I think about the opportunities that a performing arts center could bring to us, it could, it could incorporate our theater program, drama program, speech, and fine arts programs, and basically expand everything that we're able to offer currently. Not only could that help us from a school's perspective, but it could also offer opportunities for community to take a look at what we have available for space and hope that they would have an opportunity to use that space also. Our current limitations with the spaces that we do have here at the high school is just that, space. We need flexible space to help our students experience career opportunities, hands-on opportunities, collaboration in different programs, and utilizing what we have on one wing all the way down to the other wing. And right now, space is the biggest issue. We are tight on spaces uh, with a growing population of students. When you look at science, math, engineering, arts, ag, industrial tech, all of those areas combined together could give our kids an opportunity and, and career opportunities that we don't currently have and aren't currently able to offer them. I would be very excited for what those doors could open up for kids in the future. Byron has been a growing community for as long as I've lived here. I've lived here my entire life. I want to see Byron continue to grow and flourish and schools are a very important part of a small community. I think it's important for us to continue to look to better our schools and provide the best facilities possible for our kids to get a well-rounded education in all aspects of the school. All we ask is that you please go look at all the information, ask all your questions, 
And on that day of May 11th when you go in, just make sure you're going in and making an informed decision on your vote.